dust is in the air and i know it's amatan season in nigeria but even though this dust is becoming unbearable and it has the tendency to ruin our style our drip which is something we are not about to let happen in 2024 so in today's video i'll be sharing with you simple tips to help you stay stylish maintain your style maintain your swag your drip even in a dusty weather so even if it's not amatan where you are if you find yourself in any dusty environment and you want to pick your outfit you need to bear these tips in mind if this sounds like something you're interested Studying, you should definitely keep watching hi gents my name is faith i'm a men's personal style consultant and personal shopper based in nigeria in today's video like i said in my intro we are going to be talking about a few tips to help you maintain your style to help you stay stylish even in a dusty weather and i'm not going to waste your time as always the first and most important thing that you need to bear in mind is the colors to wear when the weather is very dusty if it's so misty it's dusty or you live in an environment where it's dusty or you walk in a place where there's always dust maybe you work on a construction site you work uh, at, at a mine you work at a, a factory a warehouse there's always dust anywhere you are you need to avoid light colored outfits during this period so your white shirts will have to take a <laughs> you you would have to just put them aside you know your white shirts your cream your off white you want to put them aside for now and if you know that it's impossible for you to do without these colors these light colors your cream your beige your very light gray i'm going to recommend that you buy items that you can wear over these light colored outfits so that you can be shielded in some sort of way till you get to your office so if you work as a construction manager for instance you have to be on site or you have your office on site so you have these container offices on site you want to look good because you your clients are going to be coming people will come and inspect projects or you're working on a road construction you don't want to be wearing light pink shirts but even if you are doing that you want to have jackets that you can wear over your shirt so be it a sports coat be it a, a, a regular blazer or something that can shield your shirt itself from that dust what are the alternatives that you're supposed to be wearing dark colors but even with your dark colors you want to choose dark colors that are dust friendly all right because if you're wearing black we can easily see when there's a brown stain on a black shirt so you want to opt for your grays you want to opt for your tans chocolate brown brown coffee brown burgundy ox blood bottled green navy you know deep grays and things like that so you can always combine these outfits with your light colored outfits whether you're wearing it as an overlay or you're wearing it as your trouser since your trouser is something that would be in contact with a lot of dust you also want to make sure you are considering the fabric choice so light breathable fabrics because it tends to get very hot in the afternoons in this region so that's something that you need to bear in mind still on clothes i want you to pay attention to stains you want to treat stains immediately when is dusty especially for your colors the colors of your shirt you should have accumulated dust plus sweat so that's double the stain all right so you want to make sure you are treating stains almost immediately don't leave your stained shirts just like that if something stains you at work and you know that wiping it off is going to spread the stain just leave it when you get home make sure you treat that stain immediately so that you're not ruining most of your clothes and i will always recommend that if you can just let your really really expensive clothes take a breathe at this period except you have to be at a meeting a conference or something but always make sure that you're wearing as many dark colored clothes as possible that are breathable or you wear an over shirt a jacket whatever it is over your light colored shirt so that you are maintaining your swag and your dream my next tip is for you to make sure that you are moisturizing as often as possible and i mean your face your hands your lips they need to be moisturized because this weather is dry is dusty and it's hot so there is the tendency for your knuckles to get ashy very fast there's a tendency for your lips to look cracked and get dry very fast there's a tendency for your face to also look white all right so you want to make sure that you have wipes and moisturizer in your bag a very small container will do you 
can easily use the wipes on your hands and then you can put your moisturizer and then your lip balm so when you take your bedroom breaks look at your face be sure that there's no dust in your air you can just easily pat with water and your bed and you're still good to go for the rest of the day especially if you are always up and about at work this is something that you want to bear in mind at all times because you don't want to enter a place and everybody's just looking at you nobody can tell you you're looking white do you get what i mean so your wipes your moisturizer your lip balm these are three items that you should always leave the house with every single time in this weather my next tip for you is to make sure that you are wiping every seat and every place you're going to place your hands before you sit down and rest your hands even if someone just got up from that place like 30 seconds ago because these dust guys i need to explain to you how i have been cleaning it's crazy if you walk from home it's quite frustrating especially if you like a clean space and you are cleaning and dusting every every other day like every day every few hours it's very very stressful and even if you work in this really clean company where they are cleaning every five minutes you cannot miss a dusty space like one place would be dusty no matter how tiny the dust is so you want to make sure you are checking with your fingers all right that's why you also need your wipes check with your fingers to see that that place is not dusty before you sit on it or before you place your hands on it because again we are trying to maintain our drip right <laughs> my next tip is for your shoes at this period your shoes would bear the brunt of this dust and i'm sorry there's nothing you can really do you would be cleaning your shoes at intervals so what i'm going to suggest is that you avoid shoes that attract dust in certain colors and i mean suede if you wear a black suede it's going to attract dust a lot and it will be very visible to the eyes we are going to notice it unlike if you wear a brown suede shoe do you get what i mean we might not necessarily notice that it is dusty because again the dust is brown so you want to look at the colors of shoes you're wearing and the material of the shoes patent shoes are so easy to wear during this period you can just wipe them and the dust will just roll over but your suede you need to be very careful very particular about the color that you are picking whether you're going for an event you're going to work you're going for an o and b you don't want to be necessarily picking Skin, black suede shoes velvets are easier to clean than the suede so you want to make sure that anything that attracts and makes dust cling to you is something you are avoiding at all costs so you'll be cleaning your shoes more often than not and that's something that i don't think is a problem it will help you clean your shoes especially if you don't clean your shoes regularly okay make sure you also treat your sneakers especially the white sneakers treat the stains on these sneakers immediately as well so that they don't set in and rain your shoes and finally i'm going to advise that you use face mask and always have an handkerchief in this period because the dust honestly is so unbearable and it's coming to our faces we are inhaling things like even the air is dusty like it's not clear okay so you want to make sure you're using face mask when you can it's not only during the pandemic that we can use face mask use face mask especially if the way that leads to your office or your house is very dusty or you work in a very dusty environment it helps you to prevent a lot of things that you'll be inhaling and would cause irritation for you for your well-being and then i recommend having a cotton handkerchief is better or a soft microfiber cloth that you can always use to wipe your face if you don't have wipes as opposed to a face towel because a face towel again is going to attract dust and it's going to keep the dust there so even if your face wasn't as dusty before and your face towel is already dusty it will add dust to your face you get what i mean unlike a cotton handkerchief or a microfiber cloth okay before i go let me know in the comments what you are doing in this season to stay Stay stylish despite the dust let me know share with me in the comment section i hope you have enjoyed this video regardless of what the weather is i really hope that you can maintain your style you can be stylish if you put your heart to it is our mantra on this channel thank you so much for watching and if you're new here please don't leave without subscribing to this channel if you've loved this video please give it a thumbs up and share with a man around you till i come your way again it is bye for now